I've got one nipple left. You can see it's kind of black. We're going to shine it on up. Get all this powder residue off of it. Get my brush back. That's exactly why you want to have your strainer basket in your sink because they do get a little slippery with this soap and this hot water. They will get a little slippery. I've dropped it several times already. Clean a little hole out. Always rinse your brushes and your equipment off when you're done. Feel around, make sure there ain't no more nipples down there in that strainer basket. Any screws, anything you put down. And then I don't take it completely out. I just spin it around, let it drain itself so I can look for parts. You will get a little powder residue on your sink. But that rinses off. Now if you can see this in that light, it was black. It's stainless steel, it's not supposed to be black. And you can see it's all shined and polished up. Again, they're ready for towel dry. Roll it over like that, dry it. Come over here, rinse the sink out. You can just take a little sponge, hot soapy water, wash the residue out. So that you don't make the missus unhappy. Unhappy wife makes for an unhappy life, so we want to keep the wife happy. So just be sure to clean up after yourself. Don't leave it for the wife. And keep her happy. Maybe she'll buy you a new new firearm or a new black powder or muzzle loader for Christmas. So anyway, things are all rinsed out. You folks that are married, that's what I'm referring to. I'm not married, so I don't have to worry about it, but I still like a clean sink. Okay, we're going to start the blow drying process. You come in here and you blow dry all this stuff up. Don't blow dry your wood. Get that metal good and hot. Get it down in those barrels. Let that air flow through them barrels. Hold it one spot, get it good and hot, keep it close. You want to keep it as close to metal as you can without overheating your blow dryer. You're going to have a little water down around these little openings right here if you want to heat that up. And the metal that gets hot will evaporate that water. I always flip them over. Flip them this side as well so you can get any water or moisture down inside the cylinder. 
That air getting down in here also helps heat up them cylinders quicker. Roll these around. That helps transfer the heat and evaporate the moisture out of them nipples. If you don't dry them nipples and you immediately reload, you may not get a fire. It may misfire on you, so you want to be sure them nipples are dry with no moisture, including these cylinders. Move on back over here, heat this up again. Whip it over. Get it all down in these mechanisms. That water sitting right there, I'm going to evaporate it. down in these mechanisms with that heat blow dry that moisture right out of there. Get up in barrels. Gets a little too hot to hold by hand. Get you a pair of gloves, and a leather glove will work work real well on this. Or you can just leave her laying here and not have to touch it except for flipping it over. But you gotta dry down inside these barrels. Okay, I think we got her dry enough. I'm 
I'll move you a little closer. And we're going to put this gun back together. I'm going to check it, make sure she's dry. See how clean, hear how clean, how easy that moves and snaps. When it's dirty, you won't do that. You'll, you'll hear it and it'll kind of hang up when they're dirty. The barrel, everything looks clean down the barrel, dry. Gun still almost so hot, I can't, I can barely touch it. It's, it's burning my hands just sitting here holding it. It's still kind of warm. I normally let them cool down a little bit more, but I'm going for the video. Go ahead and show you guys how to put it back together. You got this little keeper. Just put it in there like that. Got your little screw. goes back in here like so do not over tighten these use the right size screwdrivers preferably ones that are made for firearms get that good and snug or she'll she'll come loose on you just get her good and snug that's all you got to do trigger guards now back on the gun let's go and put the handles on everything's dry so we're we're good to go You've got that little catch right there, so you just line them holes up. Well, do it like this. You got the same thing on the other side. Just pop them in like that where they're back in place hold them together take that screw runner back in like so do not over tighten these you can crack your wood so just snug them up like that it's good and snug that's all it takes and now that's all guns back together as far as that stuff goes. Move these cylinders over out of my way. Get these nipples out. Okay. Your ramrod has a flat side on it for your cylinder. So that's going to go facing downward. Slide it in like so. This bullet starter needs to be facing this way. Run your screw back in there and snug it up. Be sure not to over tighten and strip your screw out. That's good enough right there. And that's what loads your bullets right there and snaps in place right there. And this right here is what holds your cylinder in place. That flat area slides over this bolt and that bolt's what stops that keeps it from coming out after you put it back in that one screw you take your cylinders you drop your nipples back in like so be sure not to force these do not cross thread them they will go in on their own easily if you got to force it it's cross threaded you back it out and start over but you do not want to cross thread these nipples. You do not want to 
shoot this gun and not clean this cylinder for days or weeks because them these nipples will rust and seize up in there now I don't use any anti-lock on stainless steel because I clean them when I don't need it but if you need to If you need to use some kind of super super lube this this synthetic grease right here is made for uh, using on these black powder guns for nipples and and um, plugs and breech plugs and stuff on these uh, black powder inline rifles um, this is what I use if you need to use them on your blued revolvers or your just regular steel revolvers that are blued um, you want to use this on all your nipples at all times and uh, any blued any blued um, muzzle loader or um, cap and ball pistol you want to use this if they're uh, blued uh, stainless steel you can use them if you're going to store it a long period of time I'd suggest go ahead and use them um, I shoot mine periodically so I don't need it mine usually doesn't seize up but it is a suggestion to use use this or some kind of heat proof grease that will keep your uh, breech plugs and your uh, nipples from seizing up Let's go ahead and finish these. Nipples right quick. When they're lined up proper they just go in just like that fast and easy but I'm not having to apply any force so whatever until I snug it up when you snug it get a good firm grip make sure that rods that wrench is straight 